edition of Oil Wisconsin Today. I'm your host, Mariela Godinez, and today we have a great show. Hello and welcome. ¿Cómo están? Soy su presentadora, Mariela Godinez Muñoz. Bienvenidos a otra nueva edición de Oil Wisconsin Today. Esta semana tenemos como invitado especial a un jovencito que tuve la oportunidad de conocer el día que celebramos la independencia de Estados Unidos el 4 de julio. Así es que no lo vamos a olvidar ya que Andy y yo nos conocimos ese día. Today I have a very special guest. I have Andy, a YouTuber. I, I had the opportunity to meet him on the Independence Day Parade, 4th of July, a day that we will never forget. Welcome to that show, Andy. Thanks for inviting me. Thank you. And I'm so excited. Thank you for waiting. Traffic jam was really bad. My apologies for that. It's all right. I had a great time with one of your producers. Thank you. And now tell us a little bit about you, how old are you, and when do you start your career as a YouTuber? Uh, okay, so I'm Andy, as Mariella mentioned, and I'm 11. Um, I guess I've always just had a knack for attention. <gasps> um, so I figured, what's a great way to do that? And I love editing videos for some reason. It's very calming to me. And I love acting. So I figured one of the best ways I could broadcast that right from my house is YouTube. So that's what I started doing. Um, on my channel, we have DIY tutorials, and we have lots of comedy. So I have um, plenty of parodies. Like, there's a shopping video where I just basically go around the store making jokes. I like that. I um, saw that one. Um, and my most recent video that I uh, just put out is, uh, which one I want to know? You don't um, remember, because you have a lot of YouTube know, videos. Come on. Um, but let's talk about how do you get inspired to do you, the YouTube videos? I know you have a lot of energy and you have a lot of talent. Do you came up with ideas or your parents tell you? Or do you see other people and you're like, hmm, I think that's <laughs> going to be good in YouTube? Um, it's actually a mix of all. Um, mm -hmm. My parents are very inspiring and very supportive of my need for attention. <laughs> And um, sometimes I'm just sitting there, and I'm like, all right, what am I going to do today? And so um, I just take that, and I'm like, how can I make this funny? So for instance, if I was going to get my hair cut, I would say, how can I make this funny? Oh. So I could add a wig and messily chop it up so that it looks terrible. Oh. Or I could just do plenty of crazy things. That's the glory of it. You have no limits. Yes. And now let's talk about your acting career. You were telling me that you are in a play, and hopefully one day we are going to interview the whole crew. But tell us a little bit about that and when this is happening and what is your role. Um, so the Watertown Players is a group. They're local. And uh, recently they put on a youth show called, well, they, uh, they had auditions for it called Oklahoma, um, which it's been done before. And it is a groundbreaking musical because they use the music to keep the story going. Okay. And uh, I, my, my grandma actually saw it, and she was like, look, here's a musical. And I said, that's awesome. Wow. So we went to the auditions, and I got the part of the peddler. So uh, I'm not, I can't say too much because, you know, if you want to know all, you'll just have to go see it. Ah, smart. But <laughs> what I can say is it's very funny. It's very entertaining from what I've seen, and there is so much that we've put into this. We have worked so hard on it. So oh. I hope it turns out good. OK, and when this is happening, do you know the dates now? Yes. And you tell the um, audience. Let's get in by. Oklahoma is going to be showing on August 4th, 5th, and 6th. And I'm not sure about the times, but They can check guess, it in the yeah. website. You can check it out in the website that appear here on the screen. That's easy. But uh, let's talk about your goals. I know you are only 11 years old, but you are editing, doing your YouTube channel, you are acting. You were uh, with the Zumba group the day that I met you. Mm -hmm. uh, what are your goals? What are your plans, like long-term career um, goals? I know that a lot of people say this, but I really just want to help people uh -huh. because there's so many people that have inspired me over all this time. 
and I want to do the same thing to other people. Make them think, you know, I can do that. I'm going to do that. This is amazing. And I really just want to help people find their passion like I've found mine. Oh, that's great. What do you want to say to the kids who are watching you? You know, the, we have a few kids right now on the set, but at the same time, a lot of kids are watching you on TV and a lot of grow-ups, like mommy, daddy from this camp. What do you want to tell them? Uh, I just want to say, if you want to try something, try it, because you will probably eventually end up doing it anyway. So if you, if you feel inspired, if you want to go be in a musical, see what you can do. If you want to write a book, then go write a book. You can do anything. Thank you. Your dad is here, and I want to apologize to him. Thank you for the waiting, okay? And what do you want to say to him and your mom? What do you want to tell them? Um, you guys have both been so inspiring to me along everything that's happened, the goods and the bads. It's all inspired me to write and to act and create. So thank you. Oh, that's sweet. And they support you in everything that you do. Yes. How do you feel about that? Because not all the kids get that. It's amazing. I know that there are some people who want to do things like acting, but their parents think that they have to do something else. So they try to make their kids do something different. But I've been blessed enough that I have so many friends and family that are very supportive of me, and that is the best thing. Okay, now let's tell everyone who is watching you in Watertown TV through uh, the local channel, but at the same time, stream live and www.watertowntv.com. People will watch you around the world. Where is your YouTube channel? Come on, tell um, them to watch the YouTube. Um, my channel is Andy DIY 2016 uh, I know that it's not 2016 anymore, but I started it that year. So I'm going to keep it that. Yes. And I think the words should appear somewhere around here. Yes, they so, will. There you go. You can go check it out. You might laugh. You might think it's bad, but that's all right. I love all the you. videos. I love them, especially the one that all of the sudden you have blood, like, ah, oh, something happened to oh, you. Oh, yeah. Tell me about that one. Um, okay, so April Fool's Day is very popular, and I love it because it is, it's the best opportunity to do a prank and not get in trouble for it. So I decided to make a video where it was like I was very sick and just suddenly I started coughing up blood. It was all fake. Um, and there's dramatic music and there's I faint. And then at the end there's a message saying that, you know, it's, it's just a prank. It's just and um, at the beginning there's a warning that there is fake blood. So if you were triggered by that, do not keep watching. Okay, so. yes. And now, do you speak Spanish, Andy? Spanish, poquito, nada. No, nada, nada. Not at all. No habla nada de español, Andy, pero sí les puedo decir que es un niño muy inteligente, muy introvertido, tiene una energía muy bonita. Lo conocí el día de independencia y por eso le dije, tiene que estar aquí en el show. Así es que acuérdense de ver su YouTube channel. Así es que ya me están diciendo que nos tenemos que despedir, pero recuerde que siempre les tenemos las mejores entrevistas. Thank you, Andy. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Hasta la próxima. Continuamos con más en Hoy Wisconsin Today. Don't move. We'll be right back with more.